Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Party. Last time we were gathering some evidence, even though we didn't really find much. But we are now in the law building. The law. October 19th, 9.42 am. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Oh, it's it's quarter past 3 a.m. in the morning. I just finished an uh, anime session with my best friend over Skype. He's not sleeping here or something. No, we are not gay. <laughs> we were watching videos, well, streaming videos and talking up over Skype about it. It's, it's fun, it's fun. We didn't watch any good enemies though. <laughs> Why I'm telling you this? Uh, I don't know. I just want to share. <laughs> Anyways. Dot, 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 dot. Uh, Mr. White? Yes? Wh why do you look so unhappy? Uh, oh, 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 nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. <laughs> this is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we are going to this trial, utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. It's dead, but it's the trial. This is known to be the... Oh boy, you're so... you're fucked. October the 19th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 4. Mumble, 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 mumble. The court is now in session for the trial, Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, we are opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Where we go. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if that producer is going to come out. The prosecution calls Mr. Zell Manella to the stand. Or the director. Oh boy. I hate doing this voice. Or will the witness state his name and profession? Who <laughs> can you get? You don't know me? I'm the director. And next season we're a new prof. Tell me matter. I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Where we go? Please testify to the court about the events of the day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what it means. And someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. The day of the murder. I was at the studio from around 9 in the morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else at eight lunch in the employee's area. But I had a meeting in the studio too, so I ended up skipping lunch. <coughs> Sorry. We were in the meeting until about 4. During the meeting, we were I'm pretty sure no one left that there. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. White, you may begin your course examination. Yes, Your Honor. Day of the murder. Okay, we have to press in the fifth statement, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, let's take it, please. Can you believe it? 
That must have been tough. Phoenix? Yes? Doesn't something about it seem odd to you? It's contradiction then. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella! Uh, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> when I went to the trailer, I saw something on the table. There were two plates on the table, the same kind of plates as an employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> good, good call. I, uh, uh, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. <sighs> A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean the assistant went through all the trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. <laughs> Clearly a man who likes to eat. I would expect as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one place during this meeting. I uh both down the A mental image I will carry this me to my wife. Wait a second. If you took a break in that meeting that contradicts his testimony, I press on that one a bit more. So wie ich mich immer am Putzen verloren lässt jetzt erst. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, uh, yeah, another one. <laughs> hmm, what is fitting so much about? I wonder. I only had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. I just heard from him two seconds ago that they had a break. Hmm. Wait a second! Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself, you idiot! Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak during a break? <laughs> well? Um, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess this takes like a little break. Phoenix, great job! If you took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during the time. You are not? I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I just is laughing. The break. Yeah. F-V-1-D. For your information, please. Uh, we took a break of the box. F we I we. I I will check this later. We took a break of <laughs> it was only fifteen minutes. Fifteen. It's only thirteen in base two. <laughs> Twelve. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in studio one. Law. Yes, in base twelve the first number goes up to no? And it's like, by the way, just more early. Anyways, not enough time for someone to say, commit a murder in Studio One. Lol. There's only just enough time to eat a deep one steak, if you ask me. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Well, we will. You might begin the course examination. Uh yeah, if we took a break off of What time exactly did you take this break? Uh I'll say it was around two thirty or so until two forty five. Two thirty? That's the time of death. So I could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer and come back. I guess it's possible time wise. Well it's only fifty minutes. It's only 30 in base 2. <laughs> idiot. Uh, I don't have time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio World Law. Why is that? Objection! Objection.